Hi students, today we are going to discuss about one more short note. So this is actually not a short note. I am giving some 6 or 7 points for this topic. All the 7 points are important MCQs. Right? The topic is polyamines. This is the last topic, small topic of amino acid metabolism. That is why most of the students, uh, students skip the topic. But very very important topic. Right? Very simple, name the polyamines, functions of polyamines, what is the clinical importance, like that only, questions are there, but all points are very very important MCQs. Polyamine means the name itself, the compounds having many amino groups, very simple, one compound which is having many amino groups, that is, examples are spermidine, spermin, putrescine. Spermin, not spermin. Spermin, spermidine, putrescine. Some others say putrescine, putrescine, spermidine, spermin. These two, that is spermidine and spermin, which is present or located in semen, that is only the name is spermidine or spermin. Okay. These three are the polyamines okay what are the precursors where it is synthesized from two compounds are one is or two, both are amino acids only ornithine another one is methionine methionine is sulfur containing amino acid another one is ornithine so name the precursors either ornithine or sorry both ornithine and methionine that two sam yes adenosyl methionine these two are the precursors for this pathway, very small pathway only, what is the name of the regulatory enzyme? Here it is. Actually, two decarboxylation reaction occurs in this reaction. One enzyme is ornithine decarboxylase, another one is SAM decarboxylase, but the regulatory enzyme is ornithine decarboxylase. Right? Next one is, this polyamine secretion is synthesis in some conditions like growth hormone, steroids and testosterone synthesis, the time of synthesis of growth hormone, testosterone and testosterone and steroids, the polyamine synthesis will be increased. Next one is degrade, how will it, it will get degraded? By polyamine oxidase, oxidation of polyamines. So how it synthesis, uh, definition, precursors, Regulate enzyme, uh, synthesis is increased by some hormones and finally the enzyme for degradation. So these are all the important points. Last two function points are, one is function of polyamines, another one is clinical importance. Very very important function, this is usually attached with, the, uh, sorry associated with the nucleic acid, DNA and RNA. So they are always important for the regulation of transcription and translation that is protein synthesis and synthesis of DNA, RNA. Second one is these polyamines are very essential for the cell growth and proliferation. And then last one is they always involved in the cell, cellular organelles and cell membrane for the stabilization. So these three are the important functions of polyamines. What are the clinical importance? You just mentioned that is memory is cancer. Don't forget to mention about the cancer in the clinical significance of polyamines. This polyamine synthesis or secretion is increased in all cancer, leukemia, lung cancer, kidney cancer, blood cancer like that. Okay. So first one is levels of polyamines is increased in all cancers. So this will help in the diagnosis and management of all cancers. Next one is, it is a marker for both cell growth as well as cell destruction. So these are all the 6 or 7 important points for your MCQ pattern of amino acid metabolism topic polyamines. Okay.